Hey guys, and welcome once again to Brand DIYs. As usual, I'm Angela Nulaga Chikabatia, aka Cherry Pixie. And I'm Usman the Prince Connor, popularly known as Official G Style. So you can follow me on all my media platforms. Okay, so today it's only two of us, but then the rest of the group members are out there doing certain things. Yes. So as you know, our motives for this group is to um teach you how to make basic DIYs to earn little money tokens for your pocket. Yes, and today we're going to teach you how to make stationery holders, um, sample notepads, and then card making like success cards. Yes. Baby cards, like any cards. <laughs> yes. So to make any of these art parts, you need something like rolls. Yes, you see rolls. Okay. And then you need your sheets, you need scissors, your brush. You can decide to use paint or poster colors or so you can use um filter pens if you like. And I have here glue, yes, which will help us in making any of this and then some cards as well. Yes. So now let's start with making a stationary holder. That's the first thing we're going to start from. And first we'll pick our roll and then what you're going to do is that you're going to roll it in your sheet to cover the rough surface of the roll. Yes. Okay, so, so we need some people to glue the first, right? Uh, yes. So the glue first. And we use glue the center after this. Yeah, so that's the glue we've opened right here. <laughs> and uh so this, this is my hand what? Okay, fine, sure. <laughs> It's not corrosive, it's, it doesn't burn, it doesn't do anything, so it's it's okay for you to use your hand. Then you just rub it around the roll so that it holds the sheet to the roll tight, so that it holds it tight. Okay. But it's cool, I'm doing it. <laughs> yeah, so that's it. And then you just put it on the sheet. And then you roll it round. Yes, so you have something like this. That's what you have. And then, so you put some of the glue on the outer part so that it glues together. Okay. Yes, so this is how your first step is supposed to look like. And so when you're done with this step, what you do next is that you can cut some of the sheet off so that it will look a bit simple, so it will look like you're folding um, lots of sheets into the roll. So I'm just going to cut some of the sheets off. Yes, and I'll do that same thing to the other end. Yes. So I've made the sheet a bit shorter and then I'm just going to fold it inside the roll. Okay. This is to uh, cover the rough surface of the roll to make it look a bit presentable and nice. I'm not doing my own cutting. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah, so. Yes. So you are supposed to have something like this, well covered and neatly done. I think that's the second step. <laughs> yes. Okay. So here, we're done with the covering of the roll. And the next step is to uh, cut the covering of your roll. So that is to enable the roll to stand firm whenever you put anything inside. So yes, we have um, some cards here. We're going to cut into any design shape you like. And so I am going to cut mine into a, a triangle shape. I'll I cut mine you... into a diamond shape. Yes, yeah. so I'll just <laughs> put something here. Look. Triangle shape. That one is not nice. Shut up. <laughs> yes, so I've drawn okay. my shape and I'm going to cut it out. This is actually easy to make because it doesn't involve you to uh, buy so many things because these are simple things you can find even at your home. So yes, this is why it's easy to make as a DIY. So now here I have it, a triangle shape. And then what I'm going to do to cover the outer part is that <clears throat> I am going to uh, paint the rough part to make it look colorful. Yes. So I use a yellow paint. I'm using yellow paint. So that's it. Just 
pour a bit of it. Then I just paint it. Okay. Okay, I think I'm done with my diamond shape. Yeah. And I'm using the color blue to do my stand. So... So I have painted it so you keep it to dry so while I while I wait for it to dry I can start with uh, designing my roll with anything at all so okay. I'm going to use a color purple to make any design on the plain sheet of the roll so I can do something like a flower Okay, I'm done with my, as you can see here. Okay, so. Yeah, so I am done drawing. Don't mind my drawing, though it's not that <laughs> good. But then can, we can still manage it like okay, that. We can do something with it. I'm using the pencil color yellow to just draw and design on the white sheet of paper. So. Yes. I should just so while we still like... wait for the paint to dry, we can uh, move on to uh, something next. But then let's wait for him a bit. Okay. I want a simple design for my like. It's something like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like. <laughs> I'm busy diamond. Yeah, I don't know if he's a fan of diamonds so... or. Because he likes diamonds a lot, yes. Okay. I'm done with my Yes, hair. so that is it. So while we wait for the colored uh, boards to get dried, we can start doing something like our cards. So with the cards, you need a cardboard paper cut into any desired shape you want. But then we decided to make them into rectangle shapes, yes. Just a plain cardboard, we decided to make into a rectangle shape, yes. So you can have one. I have one. So first, we need these plain sheets. Okay, okay, you're going to cut these sheets into two and then you're going to paste them into the middle of your sheet. And these plain sheets are supposed to serve as uh, the sheets where you're supposed to write some message to the person you're sending it to. So yes, I'm just going to fold it into two. I'm measuring it to the cup. Yes, and then measure it with the cups so that make sure that it's of the same, the same size. Yes. Okay, so then I'll cut the excess sheets out. Here you go. Okay. Yeah, so there I have it, but then I make it a bit shorter. Yes. So there I have my inner sheets, which I would glue into the middle of the card. So here you go with my yeah very good just have to shape it small yes so then i stick my inner notes inside yes oh. that's it you're supposed to have something like this yes yeah, supposed to have something like this so, like I said earlier on, this inner sheet is to serve as, uh, let me say, where to write your notes for the person. And then to come to the outer part. Okay, so we use the glue here. Uh, yes, so I'm going to make some designs on my 
card paper. So I use the glitter glue. Okay, yeah, this is so this is I my, use the glitter uh, glue to have your inner sheets here the outer in the cover of the card. You can decide to make any design at all you want, but then I'm just making something simple. Okay, with this one, I don't. I have not finalized any design yet, but I'm just thinking of something small, simple, and nice. So, I don't know where I'm going to start from, but I think I should start. To... I think something like green, or black, and red. Okay. Hmm. I think I'm doing a bit of card. Actually, I am actually um, um, doing a Christmas card to my mom. Yes, so that's maybe how it will look like. Maybe a birthday card, so maybe. And then I use the color blue to write my it's a Christmas card. So I just write Happy Christmas on it. Okay. Well, you can see it's a birthday card, so a balloon. Just write Happy X Mass. Hmm, okay, I think the design is okay. And a crown. Then I add some bits of decorations to it to make it look more attractive. Yeah. And mm -hmm. Happy. Yes, so this is how so this the front card of my Christmas card will look like. Yes. And then uh, I may wish to write a message to my mom, to my dad, to anyone because it's a Christmas card. Yes. So that's it with the Christmas card. So simple and easy. You can do it for anyone else. Yes. Okay, so I'm done with mine. This is a birthday card, so maybe you can wish a happy birthday to your loved one or a family member. So yes, simple and easy. You can just do it for your mom or dad. You know, you don't have to buy a birthday card somewhere. So yes, I think the stand have a little bit dry for the pencil stand. So like yes, so yeah, so <laughs> it's dried and done. So now what we're going to do is that we're going to glue the um roll to the stand yes to enable the stand firmly whenever you put anything inside so. like this then it's be in the office like this they can put something inside <laughs> yeah and please doing this make sure you get a glue that is a uh, strong bond something that will glue your artifacts together so that they won't have to be falling off when you give them out Okay. Yes, so I'm just going to paste my rule on it. Okay, so you have to do it in a way that it will be able to stand on its own with the glue attach the stand to the rule itself. So something like this. Yes, so there I have it. This can actually be done in mathematics because it comes, it, 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 yes, it's a combination of different shapes. Yes, so this is how it's going to be like, and then we'll leave it, okay. it to dry. Yes. So this is what you get. Yes. Something that can stand on its own. Yeah. Yes. So now the next thing we're going to do is the note parts. Yes, this one is kind of complicated. So the note part, I think it's These are already cut out sheets from any kind like. of books or anything you think you don't need anymore. Yes, any kind of sheets. Yes. Maybe you can write a diary or whatever. 
Yes. Just an easy notepad. So. so to make the covers of these books, you need a cardboard again. Like cardboard is one of the main items of this artifact we're doing here. So there's one for you and this is mine. So what you're going to do is that you have to make sure that the cardboard, which is going to serve as the cover of your book, is of the same size of with the sheets you are going to make. Yes. So, so you, I am measuring it here. You cut it and get a... Uh, the same measurement of the sheets in the board. So, okay. I think I'll do something like this. Yes. So I just drew the shape of the book, something so that I would get the correct shape of what I want. Then I just cut it out. Yes. So this is the shape I got for my book. I'm just going to put my book inside. Then the cardboard is a bit longer, so just make it sure that it's of the same size as the sheet. Okay, so okay, so I have mine here. I just have to even it to get the actual size of the sheet in the You have to be really careful when you're cutting this so that you don't cut the sheets off or you don't cut the card to be smaller than the cover you actually want. Yes, this is how my cover is going to look like, the book. Yes, it's going to look like this. And the next step you're going to take here is to um, sew the sheets to the cover yes so here i need my needle and my thread yes let's have a needle and my thread i'm just going to take my time to sew the sheet to the cover it's gonna be quite hard yes but then just have to take your time okay i'm so finding it difficult to even the book the sheet but i think i'm almost done just so there okay. it out then i'm just going to pass it through the back into the inside so yeah Yes, this anyway. is what I got from the evening of the book cover. So I think this is okay. Whew. With this, you have to be careful when you're using the needle so that you don't break or trick your hands when you're doing it. Yeah. So I'm this going to go around again. Yes, so I am done with the sewing and I'm just going to tie it so that you don't cut it. Okay, so I'm coming to start with the sewing. I have to be very careful because I don't really know how to sew. So hmm. <laughs> yeah, before I break my hand. Okay. Yes, 
So I am done with the sewing of my book. Yeah. So now I can eat. Yes. Yeah, so I am not just going to design the cover of my book. So uh, I think I'll use a uh, green to write something like a notebook or something. They're now very fast. I think I'm done. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so I'm just going to tie it. So you cut the thread. Okay. I'm just going to tie it very tight so I can get So this is how the cover of my book is going to look like. I'm going to add a bit of glitter glue. So I love glitter, so I will add glitter to every little artifact I'll make. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'm done with the tie and sewing, so I'm going to do the design for the outer part of the book. Okay. So, it is. <sighs> I'm done, so I'm just going to design the outer part of the book, yeah, to get a nice design, so... It's like a diary or something, so I can write any design of my choice. Yeah, so maybe. Mm. Yes, so this is it. Like my notepad, front and back of my notepad. Yes, add a bit of, um, I don't know, some kind of, a bit of like niceness to your notepad. You can decide to write the memo number on the top side of the book. Okay. Memo number, then the date. Yes, you can try to do something like this. I write the memo number at the top side of the book so that it'll keep the person reminded of when and where the person uh, wrote whatever the person has written inside. Yes, so this is how my notes part is going to look like. Oh, 
okay i think i'm done something like this very simple like a diary something that you can just write a note or a very short note to yourself so it is very very simple but it's nice yeah something simple like this so i'm done yes so here we have a stationery holder it's all dried up now so you can put some of the anything pens inside to dry a stationery holder yes you can put anything inside to show how your artifacts yes so this is how it's going to look like a stationery holder here it is simple and looking nice can just here. can help you in your home yes your notes pad simple you can keep it for yourself you can give it to a friend you can sell it make it more yes and sell it and then here you it have your card as bag. well card so simple so, and looking nice yes, the birthday right card which is my favorite yes it's actually my <laughs> christmas card to my mom I've actually been sent to my mom yes yes so, so that's it yes yes so thank you for making time with us and already as you know we are brand diys and please don't forget to like comment subscribe and share this youtube video yes let's all have fun together each week yes thank you and we'll see you next time bye Mwah.